tradition seems to stick to you just like crazy glue. What's up? What's up with that? You love Japanese death matches. No. I always think about those poor people's families. Most of them don't have families. They're single, unsuccessful men. Found their calling in life. In death matches? In barbed wire rope, exploding ring. Jesus! Welcome to the episode! 52. 50 fucking 2! 52. That's a whole year of episodes. After, yeah, after today, you'll be able to listen to an episode a week for a whole year. In the back catalog. Available. Back catalog. Out there in iTunes and Stitcher and Podbean and YouTube and, well. Yeah. It's not all on YouTube. Yeah, Rob, Rob takes care of that. Get at him. PRGPN. So what's good, guys? Mel, Steve. Steve brought donuts. Steve brought some voodoo donuts. They were some crazy donuts. Came all the way back from Portland with them. Oh. Yeah, came a long way. They, they carry well. Yeah, they held well. Held well. He said he just flew in from Portland, and boy, are his arms tired. No, they're pretty nice. Nice arms? Yeah. He just flexed. It's been working out. You guys out. can't see that, but he flexed. You can imagination. Mel almost fainted. Imagination it. Melanation? Melanation is what I call it, but, you know, not everybody's a Mel. Thank God for that. Yeah. I mean, maybe there is a Lord. Yeah. Because there is only one Mel. Yeah. And... You this is clone. my Mel. There are many like it. I don't think we could clone you. It just wouldn't work out. Yeah, it would break the machine, right? Yeah, every time. It'd break the mold. Break the mold. Like me? Fine. Clone billions of me. Steve? Him too. You? No. Not so You could much. maybe get like two or three. They wouldn't work right, though. No, there would be something a little <clears> off. <throat> but that's, one would that's be like, already. One would be a lot smarter than you. That's par for the course. Yeah, right? There's always a bizarro Mel somewhere. Yeah. yeah. That, but then that we'd have to figure out successful with like a family and a like lot of firm and what Mel are we going to keep? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't think a Mel could ever be no hair. Shaven. They like bick it. Just very domesticated. Yeah, very domesticated. Like which is little league Lex Luthor. Bickett. Yeah, Lex Luthor. Look, goes to church on Sundays. Very skinny, but not skinny, but like works out you know it's fit yeah fit very fit like, like a runner oh yeah he runs like probably an old daily he does triathlons oh, yeah. yeah oh yeah he not does. not for the medals or the t-shirt either no man this mel he he is about it he he's, has routines that he's he got a poster by. of tough mudder on his wall to per, just to amp it, him up like i'm doing him. that yeah. i'm gonna do that every one of a those practice does. course in the backyard he's also a singer and a painter General Renaissance man. Yeah. Too bad we'll never meet him. Yeah. Um, I just showed glimpses. I'm looking around, Mel. Something looks different in here. Yeah. Sam Pitt, Sam Pitt Manor Studios. It's getting the upgrade. It's uh, slowly but surely. It's getting out of the pits. Out of the pit. It'll still be the Sam Pitt. You got a ceiling everywhere. Yeah, there's a ceiling now. That's, uh, you can already feel it's colder in here. Yeah. Yeah. It does feel a little it's colder. Nice. Shouldn't have been shorts. <laughs> it's, uh, it's coming together nice. Yeah, it's coming together. Coat of paint, some taping, some mudding, some roof fixing. We're gonna be Ro- well, roof fixing? Yeah, well, out there. Oh, out yeah. there in the yeah the the gimmick shed. You got to, you got to fix it. Just like that Daft Punk song. Fix it? Well, no. Technology it. Work it. Yeah, strong it. Push it, it harder, harder, makes you better, faster, faster, stronger, more. That song that Kanye sampled. Yeah. <coughs> the only reason you know it, Steven, is because of Kanye. The only reason you know it is for those 3 a.m. raves that you used to go to and you'd wake up the next day with your butt alert. And... No, it was because they had that anime. Remember the videos that were like anime? It was like done like the uh, like 70s anime style. With the aliens, the blue people. I just remember the uh, the masks. The masks, yeah. They're uh, helms. Yeah. It's a helmet. It's not a mask. No, that's a helmet. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, think they, you're right. they wore helmets. You think they got air they conditioner in there? Huh? I think they got an AC in that uh, helmet? They probably have fans. I mean, that's got to get hot. The, as not the first ones, I imagine. That's just got to get hot. 
once you start making that money and have somebody, you know, just <laughs> you know what we it. need in here? Man. Yeah, some ventilated. It's, it's probably air well, conditioning. Well ventilated. Well ventilated. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh... I mean, look at those. Those look like they got a... Uh, oh, he's showing us a picture now. If we had a web stream, you could see it. That does not translate well. What is that? Maybe, That's in, like a, maybe in future YouTube yeah, two videos, we'll have this recording. The chrome. Looks like chrome helmets. Wait, are you talking about going into the future? Uh, wait, 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 what? Bro, yeah. Going to the future to the past? You past gotta go the to the future. I was watching 12 Monkeys last night. Speaking of the TV the series past. or the original, they movie? made a TV series. Yeah, yeah. Sci-Fi Channel made a TV. Was it series. bad? I don't know. It's on, I think it's it was on, on the uh, Sci-Fi Channel. I think it's on Hulu, and it's made by the Sci-Fi Channel. Remember what happened to ECW on Sci-Fi? Yeah, but they didn't make it. Mm. Hmm. That's all I'm saying is. Hmm. 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 Yep. Mm-hmm. We have. A brand new Stanley Cup. A brand new what? Stanley Cup champion. Yes. The Washington Capitals. Congrats to them. Whoop that ass yeah, in they, last two they, games. They whooped up. They were no, like, uh, warriors about it, but as close as you can be. Were you just dropping a basketball reference there? Yeah. All right. I mean, you can educate the people and myself about some basketball if you like. It's Golden State swept Cleveland. Swept him. Swept LeBron, really. In the, in the NBA games. final? LeBron. Yeah. In the so NBA finals. How NBA is over with, too? Yeah, my uh, my brother was saying that no one can compare LeBron to uh, Jordan anymore because LeBron just gave it up and like, Although, he, he just quit. Did you hear about that thing that he punched a blackboard after game one and he was playing with a broken hand? He punched after... a black man after game one? Blackboard. Oh. Yeah. Why did he do that? that? So, who knows? I don't know. LeBron has played in, what, nine straight finals? That that speaks for something. And he how many of those were ball, against... Uh, how many different teams, though? Warriors. That would just be two teams. I don't, I'm just asking. Heat and Cleveland, right? He hasn't played for any others until next year. Yeah. Oh, didn't he say he would go to the opposing team? There's going to be a decision 2.0. The what? I'm going to take my talents to the Midwest. Are you? You might go to Rockets. You can't go to the Rockets. Rockets already have too much money in there. I don't think they can afford them. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm speaking out my ass on that. Anyways. I'm going to go. He comes down here to Orlando. Turns us around. Turns us around. That would be nice. If LeBron could do that, just go to different aliens. He's going to turn us out. And turn them out. <laughs> I don't want to be turned out by LeBron. Turned out for what? Sure? You both looked at me like, are you sure? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm pretty positive. Yeah. We'll see when he brings that money your way. Slaps you in the face with 50 grand in cash. I'll just take one look at his hairline and I'm like, bro. Nah, he's getting that work you, done, you, bro. You gotta do something. Like, they, you can tattoo that shit now, bro. He should do that. Speaking tattoo of, his I'm looking at getting tattooed. Mel is getting an ICP tattoo. I'm not going to. You <laughs> said that, and I thought about it, and I'm like, that can't. All right, never mind. I'm going to get a luchador mask. I was thinking about doing the drama. He was going to do two drama luchador masks, and I'm like, that sounds cool. It also sounds like it would probably look like ICP. Yeah, and I ain't trying. There ain't to, nothing wrong with that. Whoop, whoop, Mel. I Come don't on. know. I, I was down with go, the clown. I do want to go to a gathering at some point just to observe it, you know? Gathering like I, from afar? I can, yeah, I can. Well, I can fit in with crowds. Like, I know how to need make an RV. Would need you go with face paint? I mean, oh. I would wear it when in Rome, oh. right? All right. Why not blend in? Back when Rob was a, a Ruffalo. Yeah. I went to one show in face paint. It was so fucking miserable. Oh, Especially back. once the Fago starts flying and sweat. Ugh. All in your eyes. You know what I would wear, All in honestly, is just probably wear a lucha mask. Yeah, there's a lot to do that, or a hockey mask of some sort. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Painted up hockey mask. Or, you know, just be your face. Yeah, I could do that, but I'm definitely... Look better in a mask? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean... so you two with Jabroni's been playing any video games? I picked up the Surge while it was on The sale. Citrus drink from the 90s? Yes. 
Yes, got a ton of it. Um, well, that came back a couple years ago. Yeah, asshole. Asshole fuck. So did Crystal Pepsi, but go find one now. Yeah. I love me some Crystal Pepsi. He's got you there. Uh, got me? So what's the surge? I, I, I heard you talking about it, but I didn't listen to you. Yeah, yeah. I'll listen to you now. It's like Dark Souls, kind of, that same kind of gameplay, but you're in a exosuit. And like it's all kind of like sci-fi, like. So it's extremely hard. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's pretty hard. I uh, but I'm starting to get it now. It's not as hard as I. It it's just it doesn't feel as refined in controls as like a Dark Souls does. Speaking of, we just watched uh, E3 also, and From Software's new game was teased during the Microsoft Anthem. No. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't shoving EA anthem down here. our throat since last yesterday. Get out of here with that. No, we saw the Microsoft. Yeah, what was that game? What you were just talking about a game? From, I uh, could not catch the name of the game. Yeah, but it it's it's a samurai style Dark Souls. Yeah, it was a uh, Psychoro Shadows Die Twice. I'll I'll accept that. That sounds the that probable. Be the fact checker here. Yeah, I was hanging in a drywall yeah. while this was going on. Yeah, they're hanging drywall. He's sleeping. That's why I... But he's not fact checking either. I don't know. He That's what he was brought on to do. Really let me down here. We're going to have to cut his pay. I don't believe right now. Nope. That much. Stop believing. <laughs> Got again. Uh, I've been playing Donkey Kong. Danky country, Danky Kong Country, Tropical Freeze on the Switch. Yeah, it's so damn hard. Yeah, that's how the and it's so Kongs damn were. awesome. That's how they were. I think that it, since Donkey Kong became the Donkey Kong Country franchise, probably one of my favorite uh, franchises. Top five. Top five, hands down. Hands down. It's like insanely hard. Speaking of hard, you were playing a little bit of a uh, Curse of the Moon. Cur- it's a uh, Curse of the Sekiro. Shadows die twice. Do they? I found it. No. Yeah, he got before me. A got long it time before. He got you. it before him. Yeah, I played a little Bloodstained. You saw me yeah, struggle Bloodstained. with it the other day. You just need to uh, apply yourself a little yeah, more. Yeah, that's the story of my life. It's going to be a hard game, especially the first time you get to a particular area. You just got to do it again when you die. And then die it gets and easy. Then do it again. Yeah, you know, I fucking hit a wall with Surge, and I just kept grinding on this box. And then I finally beat it. And I screamed. Have you ever, and this happens to me a lot, that's why I'm bringing it up, uh, are playing a video game, and you just can't beat the boss, or you can't beat this one part, you just set it down. Yeah, just and, and, down. and you come back the next day and you breathe through it first, first try. try first try what's up with that I think it's why does that happen you come back focused you know you're not is that what it is you're on tilt kind of when you're getting yeah that frustrated. happens to me like I can get stuck on something and then I'll just leave it for like the rest of the day mm-hmm. go play something else or just do something else and I'll come back and I'm like alright let's try this again get it first try yeah this happens to a lot of people what is that is it? Are we are we playing it over and over in our sleep and in our head? And are we got to do this? It's probably do a little bit to that. You know, you kind of figure it out in your head. And I think it's also like I said, you're building yourself up. So you gotta, you know, you gotta uh, just just relax, focus, and know you can do it. You know? Stay focused. Stay focused. That's what I said. Steve, you picked up uh, State of the K two this week, right? I did. Thanks to you two. Yeah, giving me a birthday uh, present, a GameStop gift card. I picked up uh, State of Decay 2. It's you, pretty nice. You said you haven't been able to play it too much. But. No, I got uh, caught a cold or some sort. A uh, some sort of sickness. I was down with the sickness. Oh, down with the sickness. Yeah, just like that uh, song from the nineties. Two thousand. Two thousand. I know. I know. I know. Um, Good job, though. Don't play me like that. So, um... Yeah? 
I watched some You movies. said you didn't get to play that that much? But no, it's decent. You didn't play it that much. No. Which it, that's not the one. What was the one we were talking about last week that plays like uh the uh Heavy Rain? Uh Detroit. Yeah. Detroit is where I played. I rented that. You rented it. You haven't gotten it back into it. I haven't just decided to go back and rent it it or just buy it. Yeah. Well, look at here we go. It's back in the thing. I must just skip backwards in the playlist. Oh, the uh. Yeah, the empty empty Tokyo uh, Tokyo Dome Dome non death match. uh, Non yeah, Falls Count Anywhere match. Tell you that much. So. Left field. Oh, yeah. Right field. Center. Center. On the mound. On the mound. In the locker rooms. Yep. Oh, yeah. Bowl Outfield. Pit. Hot yep. dog cart. Anywhere. Anywhere. Parking lot. Who's yeah. on first? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Outside of the stadium, they still count? I don't know on that one, actually. Where is the... Like, maybe on stadium grounds. I mean, do we have, like, ushers that saying, hey, you guys are out of bounds? Either well, there's a ref. There's a ref. There's a ref. Yeah, there's a ref keeping control of the crazy situation. <laughs> you know that? You know that man? That That's guy right, right there? There's, there's rules. There yeah. are rules and regulations to adhere to. Hey, how Robert. old is how old is this? Uh, just a couple of years, I think. Okay, because he still looks like yeah. a withered, He's relatively hard, recent, withered, hard, angry Japanese. Relatively man. recent. I believe that guy could whip your ass. What's his name again? Suzuki? That's not Suzuki. Who the fuck is it? You're I my, know you're my resident is. Japanese specialist. Yeah, I, I told you I didn't know. I'll look at it. I'll fact check this. No, that home dude right there is in uh, New Japan right now. Get out of here. No, he's not. He uh, looks, looks a little older. You don't know. You didn't even he shaves watch his head a little weird. He didn't even watch Dominion. Oh, wait. I'm talking to Steve. Yeah, I didn't Steve watch Steve didn't watch Dominion. He, he, he said he would rather watch this Gen 1 of the Transformers. I'm sorry. I'm an old man. Yeah. He cried when Optimus died, didn't you? Yeah, he no. cried. Yeah, he did. He cried. He was. You know, he kind of strikes me as a GoBot guy, actually. <laughs> I'm far away from GoBots. He had the GoBots. <laughs> it's all right. Supreme Leader. I had some go butts. Actually, watching did you watch the Toys and Tomatoes? You were saying you just watched that this week, right? I got I I got to the Transformers episode and then I You haven't watched Transformers episode then. No, I got to the trans I watched the trans Transformers episode and a little weird that they took from like all those different toy lines. And just repainted them. Yeah. Repainted them. His name is Sanchiro Takagi. Who's this Told guy? You? That Suzuki. Minero Suzuki. And that's exactly who I thought he was. Yeah. Well, you know, look at him. They're all look alike. Like. A boating he is. Look at him raising his hands to the empty crowds. No, I don't like it either. I yeah. Don't like, I don't like APAs, man. I told yeah, you. Yeah, but they, they seem to be like, like the trend more. now. Yeah. Like, I used to like them, but now I'm like, uh Tastes like a forest. Let me get something I can just kind of sip. Like, not sip, but something not... It's not going to overpower. Like... This little kitty's a terrorist today. Oh, yeah. You know he is. He's trying to walk on the mixer. He's walk trying to walk on the man. Zune. He's walking on all the incriminating evidence. Walking on anything he can. That's what he does. Everything but sunshine. Oh, yeah. He is, he, he loved the shit out of me this weekend, he, though. Yeah. He's a wonderful podcast cat, though. He knows his role. He's the mascot. Yep. You gotta get in the way. You know how it is. Uh, you guys watch anything on... Uh, Streaming movies, any crap like that this week? I didn't really. How to? Oh, how to? What was it called? Dragon. That's a good movie. I did cry. I'm not gonna lie. Um, no. How to stay out of prison or what to do if you're in prison? It's on Netflix. Oh yeah, Danny Trejo. Watch it. I think I I watched that. It was. It's worth a watch. It's kind of funny, but like hokey funny. Like I don't know if I'm gonna be doing that. I've just been watching a lot of YouTube. How to survive prison. What's your YouTube hole? It's just What's your latest day. hole, Mel? Either, like, I love those uh, top 15 mysteries and, like, videos like that. And then I've been watching a lot of Braille skateboarding. And yeah, you've, uh, good I've been watching a lot of the Brailles with you. Yeah. That's they're, 
Yeah, it's kind of got me wanting to play some Tony Hawk or something. Yeah, we saw that session. It, session, yes. Well, we yeah. thought it might be Skate Four, but it's session. At the Microsoft conference. At the Microsoft uh, EA E3 pe- press conference, there was a. Uh, I was pretty excited about that. I was talking about how I said it might buy a Xbox. No. You thought it, you thought it was Skate. Yeah. So that's why you're gonna buy an Xbox. Yeah, but now I don't know. It has to prove itself. I'll wait. But you said you might get an Xbox just for the Game Pass. Yeah, Game Pass doesn't oh, seem bad. Uh, Steve. And there's a back. It's backwards compatible, is it not? Yeah, they have 360 yeah, games, see? and they, I think they might be bringing in some old. You own none of Xbox. those. Yeah. Talk about that. You. It, you've said like the past like before before this happened, it was I'm gonna get a Switch. I'm gonna get a Switch. I'm gonna get a Switch. For like months. Yeah. Well, oh, the, Steve concurs. The Nintendo press conference is tomorrow, so we could possibly get my mind changed. Bring it, Nintendo. I really More think fucking move. The, <laughs> the only time Nintendo really has like a really groovy press conference is when they have a uh, new hardware. And I really, I mean, they might show some new Labo stuff. <laughs> I think they're gonna get, they're gonna come with some good games this year. Hopefully, they come with like. I want some original third games. Party games. Yeah, some original. third party games and original games. No more like, I mean, granted, I didn't play Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze on Wii uh, I want to play Wii the U. Division 2 on the Switch. Do they it'll be for Switch? It better fucking be for Switch. That's what I'm fucking saying, man. They need this kind of passion. It is true. But the Switch does have limitations. Yeah, there are limitations to the Switch. Like right. WWE is just a broken game. Did it's they a ever broken patch game. That? It's broken. I don't think I it will ever work. It again. You played it on the Switch? No, no. Oh. I never played. Uh, I haven't. I mean, I haven't played in a while. Nor have I. I've been thinking about it, though. I've been but, thinking about it, but I'm just stoked for Fire Pro. Come yeah, on, August. Need that almanac. Yeah, did you pre-order? Not yet. I'm gonna. Yeah, get that almanac. Pre-order your uh, Fallout 76 this Friday. Yeah, I'm going to do that, too. I'm stoked. We saw a little bit of that. Yeah, what did you get out of that? Yeah, I like how uh, lush the forest seems. And how so West Virginia? Yeah, West Virginia. The hills of West Virginia. I like that. He, uh, Did you see that? He had to break the uh, hold because he tapped the bag. He was safe. So there are rope breaks. I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. It's fucking crazy to me, too. Did you need- <laughs> Remind them what we're watching. Minoru Suzuki versus Sanashir Takajima. Taka- Mel. In the empty Tokyo Can you game tweet game. that out? At Mel, at, at Mel- the Great. Yeah, I'll tweet it out. And then you have to add it to the... Uh, well, it. yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah, you better. Turn your volume down. Yeah, Jesus Christ, Mel. No. Be, a, be a professional, Mel. Nope. You know I'm not. You know I'm not. I mean, I've got my movie turned down. Yeah, what are you watching over here? National Treasure. <laughs> Two? Leave it to no, Steven. The first one. This is the first one? Leave it to the Steven. Hey, it's, it's a, a good a flick, Nick, man. I'm a Nick Cage yeah. fan. Don't talk about the cage, man. The cage? Ugh. He will ghost ride all over your face. Y'all are, y'all are disgusting. You just wish you could find the Constitution or the Declaration of Independence or whoever the fuck. Because Nicolas Cage is a national treasure. He truly is. He's not going to go crazy. Yeah. I don't know. I tried watching that movie, um, Mom and Dad, where like the parents go crazy and kill their kids. Sounds like something I would do. It's from the guy who did uh, Crank. Yankers, and the crank movies, and um, crank yankers, and and gamer. Gamer was a different movie, so it's got like that craziness, action packed, high pace, fast velocity. In it your was, face. it was very graphic, gory. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty gory. Pretty uh, gory. I like I, the gore. Like, after like twenty minutes of it, and I was like, all right, I gotta turn it off. Oh, you, you gonna have nightmares? <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> After watching the old Faces of Death movies, I can't handle. Hey, Mel. Yeah. Oh, you're you're working on that tweet, right? Yeah, I was working on that tweet. Okay. Sorry. Cool. It's all I'm, good. I'm not as fast with technology. I, I thought, I'm an I, older man. I thought, with one hand. I thought he might have been playing his game. 
one handed. His little tap 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 so here we are. We're talking about... He's oh, a very handsome yes. man. Uh, he's in my faction. Dashing. Yeah, dashing. Oh, is that... He is in your... Yeah. your Gloria... He's... A, must Zanzibar be... Land. High above you in your faction, though. Yeah, probably. I mean... Yeah. With a he's, profile picture uh, like yeah, that. He's far more handsome. Dashing. Like, I think on a scale flex. of, like, one to ten, he's like a... Cody Rhodes? A Cody Rhodes. Yeah. Dashing. The dashing part, not this present day nightmare. Not the night, not the nightmare version. Not he could be a dashing nightmare. Isn't, not handsome, like, but you know, not anything compared to Blorf McClure. So you'd fuck him. I I can't I can't comment on that. Please, I mean, uh, the binding legal terms I've signed. Oh, in fact, I can't even car- carry on this conversation. I've said too much already. I hope we don't get you kicked out of the faction. Yeah, right? Oh, god damn it. If you do that to me. All this tapping will be for yeah, nigh. All my tapping. <laughs> well, where will my tapping and where my my time and... But, uh... Blorg McGlork? Blorg McGlork. Blorg McGlork. <laughs> when you say it a couple times, it kind of... It's a tongue twister. You want to twist your tongue. You, uh, with his butthole. You guys watched a... Uh, <laughs> Segway. <laughs> UFC fight last night. Yeah, if that's I did. You did. Uh, poor, I, poor, I, poor. I went to a restaurant and watched it. You went to a goddamn restaurant to watch it. What am I gonna do? Come over here and stream it with you? No, and I not, didn't even and not eat. I, I, I ate some good stream. food and not eat and not eat. No, well, you didn't tell me you were gonna go eat somewhere. Well, uh, Mel is all about the food. I mean, that's all you, you really said. Yes, so I was like, all right, let's let's go to. Uh, do you want to see CM Punk get his nose broke and eat some food? Mel? Oh, man. Did you watch any of the other fights or just that one? No, I stayed, like, for, Check, I, please. I stayed for the whole main card. <laughs> oh, you stayed for the whole main card? I only watched the punk fight, and it was god-awful. In my opinion, god-awful. I yeah. don't know. I don't, like, all I know was there was a women's match, uh, you, Holly Holmes versus um, someone. I can't remember her name, but she lost. But. Shane Vasquez or something? I don't know. Kane Vasquez? No. Holly Holmes versus... I don't listen to the Rogan uh, fighting. I think her name was like Michelle podcast. or something like that, or I don't know. I don't know either. I don't even, I even keep, watch I don't the keep up with the fight. I saw that he lost, and I said, "Well, that's he not went the surprising. distance though." Yeah, he he went through all three but rounds. And I the said, only reason he went through all three rounds is because the second and third round is that dude was just playing it safe. Even Dana White said that today. That he said they're both not back in UFC because uh, Punk is too old and he has heart, but he's just. Not cut out. Not for cut it. out for it. What and will Punk do now? Just be. Yeah, uh, go to Bellator. He could go to Bellator. I mean, fuck is they're, they're trying. I mean, from what I've heard, be there. And from what I've heard, Bellator has been really turning stuff around. They. Uh, he should just stop though. He's not fade away. No, obscurity. I mean, and you're one of those people that still wants to see him in a wrestling ring. No, you're one of those. I would. You can't let it go. You're one of those. He guys. turned his back on you, Mel. He doesn't care about you. Chanting at Mind in the Bank next week, CM Punk, because they're in Chicago. And you think you're a fucking it? mark? No, see, I didn't even see CM Punk stuff. I wasn't watching at that time, so I don't know. He's not. He's that man don't care about us. No, I guarantee he doesn't. But what wrestler honestly does? Like the young maybe <laughs> Cena. What? Cena seems like Cena, always, care, Cena cares about the kids. Yeah, I always said Much that he doesn't if want a kid, he crazy cares about comes them. out about Cena, it'll kind of be heartbreaking for me because I want to believe. Like, I definitely think he's more of a tool than he lets on, like a bro. But yeah, he doesn't seem like a bad guy. You know, he has house rules. We're still talking about Cena. Yeah. Oh yeah, he seems like a really cool guy. He has house rules, but who does weird? House ha- no, he's got weird house rules. See, I never watched that Total Diva, so I don't know. I've heard about him before that, like before it was a fake show stuff that there was house rules. But whatever. I mean, I like. Well, I watch the shows. Also so you are the foremost authority. We need your our Total Divas expert. Yeah, yeah. I watch the Bellas. And Total the Divas. Bellas. Why? 
good question. Well, hard see, hitting, hard Mary hitting question. Beyonce is a big fan of it because she's a big fan of the Bella. It was like those are her, those are her, those are her girls. Oh, that you think that's going to get you out of this? <laughs> <laughs> like, between the I've Bella, been to your palatial estate. You don't have to be there watching that with her. I, sometimes I'm not, <laughs> but I enjoy it. I enjoy Total Divas than enjoy Total Bellas. Why? I like to see other the other people. Like I, like when you watch Bellas, you you get the <coughs> glimpse of like when they go to Their an event. They get the glimpse of some of the other female wrestlers. But other than that, I like because I like Lana, and I like um, Dean Ambrose's wife. What's her name? Renee, Renee Young. Yeah. You just referred to her as Dean Ambrose's wife. Yeah, I couldn't well, think of her that's who she is. It. I couldn't think of her stage name. You didn't say the lady that interviews people. You didn't say. Well, there's you went multiple to Dean female Ambrose's interviewers. Wife. Like that's his piece of property, Stephen. <laughs> do you realize how far women's rights have come, and you just set us back, man? I set us back, or I set women back? Yeah, us, the podcast. Men. Yes, podcast. we're a brand, Steve. Yeah, we're a brand, bro. We have a reputation. To uphold. Yeah. There's reputations at stake. There's a certain code of conduct that we must hold ourselves yeah, to. Rules and regulations to adhere to. I said it earlier. <laughs> when do when have you guys ever had a female guest? Um Well listen, listen. <laughs> That's besides the point. Yeah. Um We'll find one. The Lost episode had uh The one that you thought you were recording? This guy. <laughs> Fact checker. Oh, oh, God. damn! All right. Um. So CM Punk lost the fight. Yeah, he just lost it. He's uh, no good. But no good at a, that. Got a broken nose. But he, man, if he could get in there and cut a promo on dude, and then do a work. well. Here's another thing. Because afterward, they talked to uh, the Victor uh, Johnson or whatever the fuck's name was, and he can't cut a good promo. Well, no. The, the, he said, "Don't worry, Phil. We're going to talk to you too." Uh. Uh, uh, Rogan did, but as soon as they were done talking to Johnson, Johnson walks out the ring, and so does Phil. They didn't talk to Phil. They didn't talk to him. He didn't want to talk to him. I think he just was like, because he looked a little. Well, he just you know. I couldn't see all. I couldn't see tears through the blood though. There was, like he said, he's one for one this week. Right, because he won. A, a ridiculous court case. Yeah. Steven, did you pay attention to any of this? I've seen, like, stuff, but I haven't, like... Christopher Amon. I'm on some shit like that. Yeah. He was the doctor dude for uh, WWE when so Punk was still around. Was suing him for $3,989,000, one dollar for each verifiable stream of the Colt Cabana podcast that Punk was on. I know I listened to it. That's one dollar. But he did not win. He did. They won. Punk and Cabana. Punk. They both had separate lawyers. Which yeah. okay. Um. Do you think Punk and Cabana are still friends? They were buddy buddy at the trial. They. They hugged, but. They hug, but, you know... Or, no, they didn't even hug. They shook hands. I think that there's a lot of room for forgiveness in a person's heart if they just let it let it work its way in there. That's why I'm ready for Punk to come back. And I endorse his comeback. To, to wrestling. Of, yeah, he can't go back to WWE. They will see him come back to... We'll go to Impact. He could... Impact is not a bad place. You want Punk to be all in. Huh? You want him to be all in. Honestly, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think it would be a good time. Maybe we'll see him on Chris's, uh, Chris Jericho's cru- cruise. That, see, that could be something. But how would you sneak him in? Like, well, so Who's the guy that's going to be the Smalley Pirate? It's going to say he's going to attack. But he'll just he'll go and attack Jericho's cruise. <laughs> that's already Sammy Callahan. Sammy Callahan? Yeah, he'll be on his boat. <laughs> this pirate ship but Four. I don't think he'll Dingy. come back I think he's done and I'm fine with that you know he'll just be one of those guys they talk about like what could have been he'll always be a what could have been at this point right 
Did you know that it is customary after a trial to shake the jurors' hands and talk to them? No, I didn't. That's I didn't know that either until you listened to the art of wrestling this yes. week, where Colt Cabana actually talks about the trial. Yes, he, uh, his lawyer was on there for a little the, bit too. A juror was on his it? lawyer. A lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. His lawyer was on it too. Huh? Lawyer, yeah, advising him. It was his uh, lawyer's last case at that. Um, Scotty, I wouldn't say that. It was just like a little right after the trial, where they could talk whatever. Oh, they really? Yeah. That was his last case too. Yes. Family yeah, friend. I didn't know uh, Cole Cabana was in it until I, like, because I kept seeing his like his twitters, like him like complaining that he was in a monkey suit and stuff. The old, uh, how many days in a row can you wear the same suit and nobody thinks you're weird? Asking for a friend. Yeah. Uh, anything else on Punk before we lay it to rest? Um, no, and I think he's already laid himself to rest, <laughs> right? Bloody nose. What do you know? What do you know? We're going to have Impact Wrestling. (laughs) We're going to have Impact Wrestling on the Y2J Cruise. Thoughts? I think it's good. I love this cross promotion. People. What do you think about cruise uh, wrestling on a cruise? Where do you put the rings? It's like a uh, it's like a traveling convention show, right? It's like uh, that convention you. Those ships are pretty big; like they're wide enough. They can I'm sure they probably have like a. Well, they have like theaters and stuff. Well, yeah, so they probably have like when they have like like how they have concerts there, like like how um, Flogging Molly had a ska cruise, something like that. Yeah, man. So you're what do you? Why are you against? And they had a bunch of bands on it. Been against this idea. I just don't like cruises. Why? I've never been on one. I've never been on one either. I'm, I'm good without it. You can go get some crazy <clears throat> poon. What? Cruise poon? Cruise poon. Cruising for poonsin? Cruising for poonsin. Yes. You can hmm. do that on a cruise. I mean, I'm with you there. Because you got maritime long. But you know what yeah, else? That's maritime, bro. What? International waters. Uh, Out of jurisdiction. Uh, uh, diction? You can get it. Uh, sure, but you can get that, or you can get fucking dysentery or some other cruise disease that everybody on the ship is going to have and have a miserable time. Yeah, I mean that could happen. Oh, you just want to roll the dice and get hit by a fucking erratic car too. Probability's not that high, my man. <sighs> the worst thing you can probably do is get next to some smelly wrestling fan. <sighs> That's you, something you do I don't want to do either. Largo, uh, NXT Love. No, that's why yeah. I stand in the back. I mean, those guys smell, but... Largo, NXT. Man, that shit is fun. Got one coming up in like two weeks, right? I think so. You're the one that's supposed to keep track of this yeah, stuff. Stats. Yeah, Stat Man. Stats I think it's Steve. the 22nd. We made that song for you, remember? The, the one you wanted to sing along? Skip it up, do it up, do it up. Yep, yeah, see, there it goes. We need more feeling. Yeah. Conviction. And Sammy Callahan, as you guys were saying. Yeah, cut that promo. Where he's talking about how he wanted to be there. There's the rumors are it's gonna set up a impact versus ROH show, which is fun because that impact versus Not on a boat. Uh, what was it? Impact versus Lucha was a fun show. Yeah, I, I dug that. At WrestleMania. Was WrestleMania week. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. At, Wrestle Mania. It Sorry. wasn't at WrestleMania. Weekend. You guys, there's more than Mania. Clever, Mel. Very clever. Shitheads. Yeah, we heard when you, <laughs> We heard when you guys went to the Orlando WrestleMania. You guys went to all the other events that yeah, wasn't remember, that you wasn't didn't WWE with us. No, he did. We went to Orlando for WrestleMania. We had a good old time. We had room Which in the, the house. Closest Transmission It'll mania. ever be unless it's in Tampa. Please be in Tampa. God, please be in Tampa. There's please. 2023, 20, 24, 25. Those would be one of the three years. bid for, but who knows? I also saw that they said SummerSlam, they're looking at leaving Brooklyn and wanting to go to tourist cities. So 
That's Holando. That would still be fun. Yeah. I would go to a SummerSlam. Or Wait, Vegas. Who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, they don't want to get kicked by him, though. I tell you that much. Uh, there's now a third person in there's this. There's all been all kinds of people. Have you not been watching this match? It's fantastic. I've been trying to hold a podcast together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. We're starting to crack, my man. You're part of it. I am the problem. At least you're sentient of that. Yeah. You watch Raw this week? Whoa. Whoa, Miss Lippy. Whoa. He's the man with the pad over there. Don't jump the gun. You, you, it's not even on the radar yet. We got to go. Okay, so just sit down, relax, shut up. That's a long list. Comment. Yeah, no, it looked long, right? We got a Bethesda thing coming up in a half an hour. Half an hour, my man. Well, yeah, but that Raw and SmackDown shit goes real quick. Real quick. It's alright, we can turn off National Treasure. <laughs> no, that's Steve's movie. <laughs> Steve is watching the fuck out of some National he, he, Treasure. He claimed ownership of it. It's my movie, movie, guys. Remember, Come on, when, my when you edit movie. this later, go back to him, go back, do a rewind. Where you cut back to him saying, this is my movie, National Treasure. Yeah. It's a good movie. Uh, it's a good movie. Like, so is the second one. The second one's just good. It holds up. It holds up, huh? Steve, the National Treasure. Your boy. Real one. Oh, God. He released another video. Another video, bro. It's ridiculous. For, um, yeah, two minutes of... Quality time, never gonna get back. <laughs> That's how long the song he released the video was. a new video that like just kind of ended abruptly. Yep. And um, I didn't watch it. It I wasn't. A, yeah, it, it, uh, there was no. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't as good as Phoenix, but he is has these pop up shops where he's. Uh, I don't know if he's giving them away. I hope to God he's giving them away. Yeah, you can't charge people for that. Uh, copies of his hit single Phoenix. I kind of want one. You would, but you're a collector. You're gonna kind him. of. I'm trying to get out of it, but you're gonna, uh, you're gonna get him to. Uh... I'll wait till it comes on vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> I would get I'll, it twice then. I'll He's a hipster. I'll frame it on the hipster wall. Hipster collector. Hipster collector. Yeah. Um, do you feel that our beloved real one? Is headed for maybe a. Uh, He's jumped the shark already. I mean, headed for maybe a a crash of sorts. Uh. Maybe a, a, a OD, maybe a, some jail time. I'm know. gonna, I'm gonna predict Jeez, we will you're, see him. You're going that at, far at the Juggalo gathering. Ooh, I ooh. Could see, I could see him having a following with a ooh. Like, the Juggalos. Ooh, it's that time of year too. I could see him actually fit. It in. is that time of year, guys. All right, there. I like that call, Steve. <laughs> I like that call. You may stay on the show. Stay the statistician for one more week. He's like the Dana Brooke of the group. <laughs> She's a statistician, too. I know, but I, I don't want to do anything to Steve. Not even, like, eat a cake off of him? All right, there's maybe one thing I want to do. <laughs> I told you. I saw that picture earlier. What? That's oh, with his mouth all... Uh, he was prepping. Prepping. That's the cover for episode 52. You're damn skippy at it. I'm prepping. Adam Cole! Bay Bay. Bay Bay. Bay. Jesus, guys. Oh, Bay Bay. Adam Cole! Bay Bay. Bay Bay. Okay. <laughs> He's going to put the North American title on the line. Yeah. In the Evolve 107. At an Evolve show. June 24th. Oh, that's craziness. What kind of world are we living in? Well, I don't know, but uh, Walter, Walter, he uh, replied back to the uh, tweet with the old uh, question mark emoji guy, strummist, uh, questioning guy. How cool would Walter. that be if that's how Walter is introduced to the NXT world, is he just wins there. But that won't happen. You know who's winning that match. Well, this is not the first that... Uh, time the E has given their talent to evolve. No. But those matches were not allowed to be shown on the pay-per-view, the Evolve pay-per-views. This is going to be different. It's, it has to be. This is something it's, different. It's 
just exciting. All right, one more time, guys. Adam Cole! Baby! Baby. A little better. Ricochet. Yeah, remember when we saw him with Ricochet? Who, I think their match with Velveteen Dream might steal the show. Oh, I've called that weeks ago. Steal it. Yes. Steal it. But that's just because they don't have much competition in the card yet. Mm. Boom. Mmm. Like the Masa Champa uh, Gargano match. That's a big blow off, but that's still kind of. How do you how how are they going to compete with what the match they had at the last takeover? You know. I don't know. What was the last one called? Like an unsyndicated. Oh, unsanctioned. Unsanctioned. Unsanctioned, unsanctioned sir. New it Japan. Was, it was on the card, but they just said it's unsanctioned. But it happened after, like, all the regular matches. That was kind of cool the way they did that. Yeah. New Japan Pro Wrestling. Yes. Had. Had. Dominion. Dominion. Dominion was this weekend. It was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. 3 a.m. our time. uh, Saturday morning. It was fucking awesome. Yeah. The whole thing. Wasn't it, Steve? Four title match. Oh, yeah. Four title changes. what I read. Yeah, Steven didn't watch it. He said, I don't want to watch Transformers Gen 1. And lots of other things I was watching more than over, meets the over yesterday when I was home alone because my fiance went to Orlando for the Still, weekend. Still, I'm going to say it was Transformers Gen 1. What's wrong with Gen 1? <laughs> I, nothing. Absolutely it beats nothing. Beast Wars. Just, That's for I'm, sure. Beast Wars was amazing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Jesus. Beast Wars, Steve. Now, if you were saying you didn't watch it, I'm just saying... That you should be ashamed because you miss some of the best professional wrestling, like your new of of this generation, if not ever, heavyweight champion. Your new IWGP heavyweight champion, Mister Mister Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega, that's correct. You have read spoilers. Finally, beat experience the match. Oh God, the storytelling of that match. And your new two out of three IWG PA IWGP. Intercontinental champion Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho. Wear makeup. Went yep. to Hot Topic. He had a crow like mask on. He wasn't, a, it was painted. Oh, I know, but it was like a mask with crow like paint. Mask. He was trying to be poetic, though. Yeah, he was uh, a wordsmith. He just looked like the old timer trying to be cool. And then, he had a gut. He had the gut. He had, he had the, the old rock star gut. I'm on a rock star tour gut. Was it just a ruse, or did the Young Bucks get the heavyweight nope. tag? The Golden Elite. The heavy. The nope. The Young Bucks did. Young Golden Elite was formed after the show. Yeah, because that's Kenny Omega, Kota Ibushi, and the Young Bucks. There may be dissension. The Young Bucks did win. Heavyweight the, tag uh, team? Yeah, the heavyweight tag team titles. Their uh, first time. Evil and Sonata. Their first time. This is true. Because I remember they seeing that on up. episode four, or the latest episode five of Being the Elite, that they want, that's the only title they haven't won. Yep, and now they've won it. It was it was a damn good show, Stephen, and you should at least go through and watch that Omega Okada. We were talking about one, one day one weekend watching all four of them together because they do a lot of callbacks in this match to and it's matches. it's not like these matches just happen in succession like no. okay we gotta have a rematch yeah which is great it was just this is like how many days was the okada champ 700 something? 773 i want to say a lot of days yeah a lot of freaking days. Over a year. Over a year. It's true. And you missed it, Steve. Over two years. And you missed it. And, and you don't even care. I'll, even I'll, get care the ne- I'll get the next one. I'm just sitting there in your Deadpool t-shirt. Not even, he said he'll watch the next one. He doesn't even care to go back and watch this one. <sighs> I'll probably watch it. Probably. <laughs> After E3 conferences. After he gets through season three of Transformers Gen One, more than me, no, the guy. There's four, and I've already watched them all. I'm, I'm giving you shit. You're getting. But did you watch so the movie? Flustered. No, I didn't watch the movie. I have the movie, but I didn't watch it. He's getting so flustered. Stop getting flustered. How are you going to check stats if you're flustered? Flusteredly. 
That's very flustering. Raw happened. Raw happened. Oh, now run Raw. And we had some of the most god awful acting, wrestling, I don't even storytelling I've ever seen. Oh, the Ronda Rousey. From professional wrestling. Yes. Yes. The that was- Ronda Rousey, Natalia, no. Nia Jax. Don't go near her. Stop it. This is the part I liked. After the match, after Nia's match with Natalia, and she accidentally gets hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not mean to hurt my opponent's leg. Yeah. No, she totally meant to do that. What the fuck? That you w- Who wrote this shit? I don't Who? Know. It's just terrible. It's terrible, Steven. Did you watch it? Yeah, I watched it, and I actually watched uh, Jump the Gun. I watched the NXT this past this that happened just past Wednesday, and what? I thought Sh- Shana Blazer, Shana Blazer, Shana Blazer has horrible mic skills. What? I think the complete but opposite. She was calling out Nikki Cross. No, or just She's, talking no, to her. No, no, we're gonna fight. We're gonna throw down right here. Mel, don't even try to separate us. You guys, stop it. No, Shayna Baszler has is head over heels better than Ronda Rousey in wrestling, in mic skills, in in just overall appearance, like just being a superstar. Well, she was also doing it on the indies. She was, you know, well, out there. Rousey her barely character. even talks when she does talk. She's always just because like she a can't smile. fucking talk. Hey, only she, her she, husband can say that. She <laughs> she said that what four fucking times. She needs an advocate. <laughs> Yeah, she does need an advocate. an advocate. I think that would help immensely with this one. Yeah, if she gets a manager, who would it be? CM Punk. <laughs> I need. I'll be right back. You guys hold this shit together. What do you? Can see, see, see what you did to him. I haven't drank it so long Punk now. You know what it is? He's harboring resentment, and it's just growing in his heart. It's growing in his heart, this resentment for CM Punk, because he wants him to come back. He misses him. He feels... You know what it's like? He misses hearing a... Uh, colder personality? Yeah. Yeah. He and That opening guitar riff. It's like... It's like a father figure that stepped out on him, or a big <laughs> brother or something that... You know, told him that he would be there for him. He, he, just went, out, he went out for a pack of cigarettes and he came like, back. He's looking at it, and he was like, you could have protected us from Roman Reigns. But no. No, he didn't. So that's why he has resentment towards him. And I think that we psychoanalyzed that right there. And that's why Rob hates the <sighs> punk, and he's such a a baby whenever we talk about Where it. Where are we at, guys? Oh, nothing. <laughs> what? How's it going? You're back from your potty break? <laughs> Just had to, uh, you know... Grab one of those uh, beverages in the fridge. Grab a beverage. Adult kind. Because I can't deal with Steve's shit. What, What's going on, Steve? Why were you mad? What were you mad about? Why are you mad, bro? I. Let's just go on with things, man. Just, oh, okay. Just, you know. We'll get through it. What else happened on Raw? There was. We a- have Constable Baron Corbin. Oh, yeah, that was good. I ca- yeah. Okay. I feel I'm glad. Like there's potential here. All right, we're coming back together as one now, guys. Do you agree? do you agree, Steve? About Constable Baron Corbin. I don't know about this. They didn't show you this on Hulu. No, it was ongoing. Damn. Damn. Yeah, they. Cut well, it. okay. Damn. Corbin is our new constable because they don't yeah. have anything else for him. Because yeah, and that he called Stephanie's bullshit eyes. on the uh, on, on uh, Bailey TV. hopping in on the. It, it was yeah. bullshit. It was yeah. I was saying it was bullshit too. Yeah, when I saw her come out, I'm like, "Why? Why? Uh, what?" Um, he prevented Kurt Hawkins from winning his uh, or having his he, he. How do you say that? Kurt Hawkins had his 200th loss. Oh yeah, to a jobber because of Constable Baron Corbin. Yeah, he wasn't constable then though. Yeah, because he came out and. Hit the jobber, so the jobber right. won. He's kind of like he's a Stephanie McMahon's uh, eyes and ears and uh, hands, if you will. Yeah. Is he the new uh, coach, as the coach was to Vince McMahon during the NCAA? 
I don't know. Yeah, he's like a doer, like a little gopher boy. He'll yeah. go do this shit for me. Yeah, very good. Very good call. See, I didn't watch it at that point, so that's why we need Steve here. Oh. Did you put another empty empty ring match? Yeah. You know, you know what the best empty ring match is? Really? Empty arena match? It would. Yeah. It, yes. The 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 rock one. Yeah. During well, halftime. McMahon, McMahon. Yeah. Halftime. Uh, SmackDown. Or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. Halftime in the Super Bowl, right? Uh, B team. The B team. Win. Win. A tag team battle royale. I think the the rival revival were supposed to be the last teams in there with them. And there was some fuckery. And there was some fuckery. I don't know that whole the whole way that was seemed like fuckery to me. So I don't I don't know there. But. Like they were throwing teams out when only one person left. Yeah. But I've seen battle royals yeah, where it's different. Yeah. Rules. Well, it's because they make their own fucking rules up whatever <laughs> they want, and they have no fucking commitment. No consistency. God damn it. Piss me off. The bastards. Ayo. Um, Kevin Owens versus Finn Balor for the first time ever on Raw? In a W. Fact checker? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. mean, does that seem fl- plausible on a singles match? Yeah, it does. Well, they. Also. Because they fight NXT. Yeah. Correct. Because that's how Finn Balor got the title from. And Owens. Owens was on SmackDown for a while. Yeah. When Balor was doing that thing, and then Owens was the champion when Balor was injured because Balor got injured, and they needed to have the tournament to see who was going to be Balor's replacement, and then Kevin Owens won that. Because Triple H backstabbed uh, Seth Rollins. Yeah. They eliminated Big Cass first, but then Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins got screwed by Triple H, and they never really explained why he did it. Who's just kind of lost. Like I am right now? Yeah. Sweet. So, too um... Sweet. <clears throat> too sweet! I mean, first try er, Yeah. Whatever. Um, I wasn't going to say anything about this. I didn't even write it down. But since I remembered it, I'm going to say it since I'm a little... I've had a couple. I've had a couple. You're like six beers in. I hate to. Yeah. You're gonna hang it some drywall. I need. You gotta hang the drywall. You gotta drink beer when you hang drywall. Man. Read a couple novels. You gotta read a couple novels while you're hanging drywall. Yeah, right. But um, the Special Olympics tie-in. Okay. <laughs> I can tell you're already scared. Yeah, where are you going with this? You always talk about I'm the one that says crazy shit, but no, I just say ignorant shit. You say crazy shit. Okay. This yeah. is gonna be like, God damn that ignorant fat fuck. Um. I really don't think they should be showing the Special Olympics kids on TV that long. Why? Because they you don't pull- know what the fuck they're going to do. None of them, like, pulled their dick out or anything. <laughs> still, if they yeah, did, what's it, but, no, what's but, it but, any different? Because I know you saw that lady who flashed her titties at the Capitals. I saw it Stanley as Cup. it happened, yes. All right. But, um, I don't know. You just don't like I just, at them. <sighs> I don't want to say that. Well, it's what you're saying without saying it. I'm just. Is that what I'm saying? No, do it. This is what you're here for, Mel. That's what the eyes are saying. Yeah, checking. Got to check your body. But you're. uh, No, no, no. I was thinking. This is how I was thinking. I was thinking that the whole time this, the the whole big show special uh, Olympics thing was happening, and then Balor came out and gave him all high fives and two sweets and shit. I was like, part of his entrance. You know what? Because it's Balor Club for everyone. And that was pretty fucking cool. Yeah, that's the, that that's, that that was cool to me. That's so. why you have to have them on TV. You have to have because there's you know how many kids that are suffering from stuff just like them, not even suffering, but <coughs> dealing with like living. None of those kids look like they were suffering. They look like they were having the time yeah, of their exactly. fucking life. They were living with the you know different disabilities and different. The one kid was dancing, fucking the, ass Different off. ways of living, you know. We all have our our own way to get through life. And so all these kids out there, and not even kids, but people just out there that are dealing with the same shit, and they identify with them, and they say, you know what, I could be at a WWE show, or, you know, they support me without actually being there, but they're supporting people like me, so it gives me inspiration, you know? Thank you, Mel. See, you don't see that as a white male too much. <laughs> Fucking sex, <laughs> gendered. Check I'm sorry. Privilege. I'll try, bro. 
I'll try. And it's not, I always say this, it's not like we should just be aware of our privilege. It's, it's a joke to check it and all that, but... Be aware oh, I'm that. totally aware. I got it great. Yeah, we live life in different ways. And who's to say what, what way is right, you know? On to SmackDown. That's how you end Raw. <laughs> Steve's nodding approvingly on, yeah. the, on the podcast. They'll hear yeah. this. Same way how we did it last week when yes. we were got a knee deep conversation about politics. We yeah, just, did we? Segway. And on the way to what did we, we play over the week? <laughs> oh yeah, we oh, did, didn't gloss we? Over that. Nah. So SmackDown. We had Naomi and Jimmy Uso, you know the, the bonded pair, if you will, versus Lana and Aiden English. English. But that's because Rusev was the hype man. In the main event. <laughs> yeah, I get that. You gonna put Aiden English in the main event over Rusev? I think we know which one on Rusev Day is gonna get the main event. Cause Lana is the best. Lana uh, uh. number one. Uh, uh. Lana is the best. Uh, uh. Lana's number one. Uh, uh. And now she has her own uh, Lana Day T-shirts. Well, you know. It's good for the goose. It's good for the gander. You gotta, you gotta catch that money while you so can. So every day, every other day, that's not Rusev Day. It's Lana Day. But every day is Rusev Day. Fuck that bitch. Uh, uh. Um, Carl Anderson defeated Luke fucking Harper. Yeah. With schoolboy roll up. Even though they're not gonna let him win, I would love it if the the good brothers were tag team champions again. Again, we saw them enter WrestleMania as tag team champions, and then then that Swizzerv. Yeah, they got screwed. They thought it was gonna be a triple Damn, threat. They match. had no no way to no way to prepare for that competition. Yeah, no, no way to prepare for that, and it's such a how does that su- surprise not put you on tilt? How do you? This has been a TRGPM production.